you know where you are generally unstable. I'm not kidding. I'm genuinely concerned for your mental well being. You're fucking insane! In what fucking universe is the character of Monty based on you? Really? Obviously, there's certain similarities, but she's not based on you. Are you actually yelling and belittling me across the house because you're too busy eating macaroni and cheese? What? What? I'm not. Disturbing it is that you're able to compartmentalize to such a degree that you can casually abuse me while eating macaroni and cheese. Abuse you. Mac and cheese that I have been made. Abuse you. Verbally abuse me. Thanks for the clarification. It's kind of an important one. But verbally abusing you. Fucking break. You're gonna treat me like I'm fucking insane and call me crazy. At least have the decency to do it without casually eating mac and cheese. How's that work actually? What's that sound like inside your brain? Is it like what a cunt. I wonder if there's more mac and cheese. What a cunt. This is delicious. What a cunt. If I can direct commercials for Kraft mac and cheese, I would. You can say what you want, Marie. You can get pissed off that I didn't thank you or that Anthony made a joke about you being a model or Taylor said whatever the fuck Taylor said. It was mean. She's an actor. And all night, I had to look over and see you laughing with her and posing for photos. Marie, she's the lead of my film. I know. I don't care. It's my job to make her feel comfortable. Not at my expense. Yes, it's by how the fuck you feel it is my job. You never fucking forget to thank her. Jesus Christ. You wouldn't. Because she's fucking psychotic. But that's my point. You wouldn't forget to thank her because she flipped the fuck out. She'd spend the whole night making you pay for it. So much so that it would never happen again. So what you're saying is that you're not nuts enough. No. What I'm saying is that you spend your entire life catering to the feelings and whims of everyone but me. Actors, producers, crew members, fuck even fictional characters get more empathy and respect from you than I do. That's what's so fucking odd about this whole thing. And I get it, Taylor is great in the film. When you get up there and you give an entire speech about Taylor's ability to breathe life into the character of Romani without ever acknowledging that if I hadn't lived my life, she wouldn't exist. Romani's not based on you. Romani's a 20 year old drug addict trying to get me, what, what was it? Just pure fucking coincidence? Obviously you getting clean provide inspiration. At 20? Yes, and you provided genuine insight into what that felt like. But Romani's not fucking based on you. It's a whole amalgamation of a whole lot of different things. Who? People. What people? A whole lot of different people. Mm. My cousin. I don't know. Different people. I feel like once you know someone's there for you, once you know they love you, never think about them again. That's not true. It's only when you're about to lose someone that you finally pay attention. Is that what this is? What? Is what you're threatening is that if I don't apologize, I'm gonna lose you? I'm not looking for an apology. So then what do you want? A screenplay credit? Don't be cruel. Oh, no, 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 no. I spend so many hours and hours talking about work at home. Is it so much of a fucking nuisance that you want compensation? It's not about credit, Malcolm. No, I'm, I'm not looking for fucking credit. Then what is it? The film is beautiful. I'm proud of you. It took forever to make. And it was fucking tough. But I'm curious about one thing. Do you think it'd be as good as it is if we weren't together? No. That's all I wish you'd said. Great. Are we no longer fighting? Depends. On what? Whether you can manage to not say something hurtful for the rest of the night. I'm not so bad. Fuck you aren't. Can I kiss you? No. Are you sure? I'm fucking positive. Just don't take me for granted. No. You did. <laughs>